lookup tables or LUTs for short are a really quick way to apply colors to your image and give it a really pleasing look or a creative look. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can take a LUT or a look from an image and apply it to any image and then upload that into On1 so you can modify your images. Step number one, find an image that you enjoy the color grade of. Today, we're gonna to be using this photo right here from Brady Core. I think that's how you say his name. Either way, this is the photo that we're gonna be using. Now, if you wanna follow along, you can go to the description box below and download this image by clicking on the link to this particular collection, or you can go find your own image. So here we are inside of Affinity Photo. I will note, I'm using Affinity Photo version two, but this process works in Affinity Photo one as well. So we're gonna navigate over to our swatches. Now, if you don't see the swatches panel in Affinity Photo two, you're gonna click on window, and then you're gonna come all the way down to the bottom and click on swatches. This will show that panel. Now, if you're using Infinity Photo number one, you'll click on view, studio, and then select swatches. And that'll get you your swatches panel over here on the left. So step number three is where we're going to actually create the color palette that we're going to apply to our image. To do that, we're going to click on the three line menu, and then we're going to come down to create palette from image. When the dialog box comes up, you're going to click select image, and then you'll navigate to where the file is on your hard drive. Once you click on the image, it's gonna pop up in the palette view window, and it's gonna give you five colors by default. You can absolutely use five if you would like. However, I recommend that you only use three and this is just gonna make it easier for you. To do so, if you click inside of the block that has the number five, and you type the letter three, click off, and then hit preview, you'll get three colors. And these represent your shadow area, your highlight area, and your midtone. Now, what we're gonna do is leave this set to application and hit create. So now that we have our swatch created, it's time to apply this to an image. It doesn't matter what photo you open here. Just make sure that you have a photo uploaded before you move on to this next process because you won't be able to. Now, the first step to applying the grade is we're going to select the adjustment layer here and we're going to come all the way down and click on gradient map. This is going to make the photo look a little odd at first, but we're going to make this look a lot better here in a second. Now, what we need to do is increase the view size of our swatch. So I'm gonna click on the three line menu and I'm gonna come down to appearance and then click on large. This is really helpful for the next step that we're about to do. I'm gonna click on my shadow area over here and then click on the color. I'm gonna drag, click and drag from the eyedropper tool to the darkest color in my swatch. Now, if you had five colors in your swatch, just choose the darkest color and that's how you'll uh, be able to select that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the color now that I've actually sampled it. And I have added this dark purple into my shadow area. Now I'm gonna click on this center dot here or node and then click on the color and repeat this process. This time, I'm gonna go with this middle pink looking color, click on it, and now I have applied that to the center or the midtones of my image. And then I'm gonna click on the very last one here and repeat the process. So now I have this grade over my entire image. And you can do a few different things here. You can leave it on normal and apply your blend modes inside of on one or whatever editing application you choose to. Or you can come here and you can choose to use soft light, which looks really nice on this particular image. You can use overlay, which also looks pretty good. And if you want to be a little bit more creative with your LUTs, you can select hue, saturation or color. 
Now, whichever one you choose, it really doesn't matter as long as you're getting the look that you want. Now, I'm personally going to leave this one set to, uh, we'll go with color. I want to be a little bit more artistic today. Now that I have this set, I can add a few more adjustments here. Let's say I wanted to contrast this a little bit more and come back over here and I can add a curves adjustment layer and we'll just put a very basic S curve. So now I'm getting that contrasted look in this particular file. Now I'm ready to export it. And all I'm going to do is come over to file and then export LUT. This is going to bring up the export LUT dialog and the sample photo that's in here. It's just stock. It comes with affinity. You can change this. You can load your preview image and, and change that to whatever you want. But for me, this is working just fine. So I'm just going to rename this FWP shades of red. And then I'm going to leave this as a dot cube file. This is a format that's recognized by on one video editing applications. So this is going to give you the most flexibility and range. And then as far as the quality, I'm going to leave it on 17 by 17 by 17. I don't really know what this means. I'm just being honest, but in my testing, this works perfectly fine in videos and photos. Now I'm going to hit export. And I have a folder that I like to save all of my presets in. And I'm just going to put this into my LUT pack one and hit save. Now, if you're an on one user and you're not familiar with how to add extras or LUTs, all you have to do is open up on one, click file, and then scroll down until you get to manage extras. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control command E. Once the dialog box pops up, you can click on LUTs. And then I have a FWP LUT pack one that I'm adding this to. So I can click there. You can also just recreate a new folder if you want, but I'm going to click on import and then I'm going to navigate to that location where I have the LUT saved. And this is my FWP shades of red. I'm going to click on open. And I want to leave it going to the FWP LUT pack one. Now, if you wanted to add this to a different category, you can do so by creating or creating a new folder, which is called a category. Uh, but I'm going to leave it right here in LUT pack one and click OK. And then I get the import job has processed one item. There were no errors. I'll click close and I can see that this is now added. So when I open a photo and on one, I can now select my category, which is FWP LUT pack one, hit the drop down, and select FWP shades of red. Now remember, I used the color method inside of Affinity Photo. However, if I don't like the way that this looks, I can just click on the gear icon here, and I can change my blend mode after the fact. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, smash the like button. And if you want to see more content, check the videos out on the screen. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.